Spaghetti Problem Solved by Julia Daniels. Chef Tony Nudaloni has worked as a chef in the Italian restaurant Ben Pasta for over 30 years. He decided it was now time to retire. The staff wanted to give him a retirement party at his restaurant. Of course he wanted spaghetti for his party, and of course he wanted to make it. I will surprise my staff by making the pasta, said Tony. He began to search for the ingredients. What? No pasta, Tony exclaimed. We are out of flour too. I must run to the store. Tony searched the aisles and could not find flour or pasta. So Tony looked for Sam, the grocery store man. Sam, where is the pasta? Tony asked when he finally located Sam. If there is none on the shelf, then there is no more, Sam replied. What about flour? I will make my own pasta, said Tony. Sorry, something has happened to my delivery and supplies are low, Sam replied. Oh no, the party's tonight. I must get a word to Farmer Ron, thought Tony. Across the street, he noticed a sign that said Pigeon Express. I will see if they can get a word to Farmer Ron harvest it, he thought for a moment. He walked in and asked the man at the corner. Can you get a word to my friend Farmer Harveston across town and fast? My pigeons are the fastest around, replied the man. The note will be there in 20 minutes. Write your note and I'll send it immediately. Tony asked the man to send the note, then watch the pigeon fly away. Then watch the pigeon fly away. Ron, my buddy, I need pasta for my retirement party tonight. I have no pasta. The store is no pasta or flour. Can you help? Please reply quickly. Your dear friend, Tony Nudaloni. What is this wonder of Farmer Ron? A note from a pigeon? It must be important. He read the note and thought for a moment. I have an idea. He thought. Ron, my dear friend, Tony. I have something better than pasta out of the box. It is healthier, and I even grow it on my farm. It is spaghetti squash. I'll load my truck and be right there. Your friend, Ron. Farmer Ron arrived, Tony raced to the door to greet him. I have brought you a truckload of my spaghetti squash, Farmer Ron said. I'm not sure about this. It is really hard, and how do you get spaghetti out of it? asked Tony. Just wait. I eat it all the time. I will show you how to prepare it, Farmer Ron replied. You must first cut the squash in half lengthwise and scrape, scrape out the seeds. Drizzle with olive oil and season with salt and pepper. Place the squash cut side down onto the prepared baking dish. Place, place in, onto oven and roast until tender for about 35 to 45 minutes, Ron said. Then what, Tony asked. You scrape, scrape with a fork like this, Ronald responded. It does look like spaghetti. Mmm, it tastes wonderful, especially with my sauce that has been simmering all day, Tony exclaimed. I knew you'd like it, Ronald replied. Do you have enough squash for my party, Tony asked. My truck is loaded, Ron said. Great, Tony replied. Let's bring it in and start cooking. As Tony and Ron walked to the truck, he noticed the staff putting up a banner for the party. Soon, the squash was baking in the oven. The sauce was simmering on the stove. Salad was made, and the bread baked. I think we are ready, Tony sighed. The guests arrived and dinner was served. Tony watched the faces as they began to eat. He heard comments like, what is this? It tastes wonderful. How'd you get the pasta so yellow? Ladies and gentlemen, Tony began, thank you for coming. I thought tonight would be a disaster because there's no pasta or flour to be found. My dear friend, Farmer Ron, saved the day. You have been eating farm grown spaghetti squash. Thank you, Ron. Great news. My daughter, Allie, will take over the restaurant and we will add this healthier spaghetti dish to our menu. 30 years of Italian cooking, I just today find out about this new and wonderful spaghetti. Tony took his apron off and handed it to his daughter. Then, then said, again, thank you for coming tonight. And an extra special thank you to Farmer Ron, you saved the day.
Mrs. Amaro said the topic was squash, so I thought of spaghetti squash. And when you think of spaghetti, you think of Italian. So then um, it should be spaghetti squash, but Italian food. So we then Tony um, is, I guess, like Italian name. So and then we had to do something creative. So I thought of what rhymes with Tony, Nickelodeon. Well, um, I was at my friend's house and it was on New Year's Day, and we and Miss Mrs. Amaral called, and my mom gave me the phone. I was like, "Who is this?" And she's like, "Do you know who I am?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> and then I, then I heard, I noticed her voice, and then I was like. And then it's like, you're a state winner. And I was so excited and I told all my friends and all that.